Hey guys, what's up? Thank you for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be talking about a, a multiplayer game that I've never talked about on my channel before, but it's one that I've been playing since day one. When I originally uh, downloaded the beta for Overwatch, I absolutely fell in love with the game and pre-ordered it then and there. And within the first year of it being released on uh, PC, on the Battle.net, I put in hundreds of hours in that first year, and then when it came to consoles, I subsequently own it on everything you can get it on. So, I thought I'd make a video, as I've been playing it a lot more recently, uh, just basically to give my opinion to people, if you're thinking about picking it up. We are coming up to the launch of Overwatch 2, which you don't need to buy Overwatch 2 to benefit from the multiplayer part of it because the multiplayer stuff for Overwatch 2 is free to Overwatch 1 owners. The only thing you've got to pay for is the single player content attached to the sequel. But Overwatch itself is its just such a damn good multiplayer game that gets regular updates and now has a roster of 32 heroes all split into either tank, damage or support roles and each one has strengths and weaknesses, different play styles, different abilities. Uh, in this video I'm playing as Zarya, she's a really kick-ass tank that can apply a bubble shield to herself or an ally for a few seconds. Any damage dealt to said bubble will power up her, her beam rifle and you can do some major damage. The game is very competitive and does require skill once you start getting into the league play which is the ranked mode so you can go up obviously from bronze, silver to gold and gain in score. And unless you coordinate with your team and play as a team you will very likely lose. There is a quick play that you uh, that you can play for as much as you like which is more single uh, single rounds uh, matches. Matches averagely consist of capturing a, a point and then escorting a payload to a couple more points or you have to capture points A and B and obviously then the other team has to defend. Um, there are uh, like deathmatch modes and that kind of thing, 1v1s, 2v2s, that they keep mixing up the, um, the playlists, which is really cool. There's always seasonal events. There are loot boxes in the game. Uh, they are only for cosmetics only, though, which is fine. I got no beef with that. And you get loot boxes every time you level up, and they dish them out uh, for even queuing as a tank or as a healer or as a damage. It, it, it's, it's pretty cool to be honest they give you incentives like the uh, in-game currency the credits you you can rack those up really easily nearly every skin voice line emotes and uh, spray in uh, spray tags of you know go around and rock some graffiti about they can be bought with in-game currency but like i said they they dish that out pretty well so you don't really need to spend any more money you can pick up the game for about 15 pound here in the uk on ebay maybe cheaper elsewhere it does go on offer on the store very often and if you're looking to get away from the monotony of warzone or uh Fortnite or whatever it is you play, Call of Duty, you know, Battlefield, whatever you want, and you want to play something that's just a bit different. It's obviously some, it's a first-person shooter, but it's it's just there's something about it. Overwatch has been a hit since its release, and it's just incredibly fun to play online and just absolutely kick the crap out of people or get the crap kicked out of you. It can be soul crushing. If you haven't got a team working together, you will get easily decimated and that can crush your soul. Um, so sometimes I uh, I can play very, very well with a really good team. However, um, if that team is just full of Rambos going off and doing their own thing, the game doesn't, it's not as fun. But Absolutely tons of, uh, tons of fun to be had with Overwatch, and like I said, the game is absolutely worth it. I know it's like, what, now five years old? Four years old now? Um, it's still actively played. There are tons and tons of people playing it. The player base is very large. There's eSports, the local eSports team to the UK is the London Spitfires. And yeah, it, the gameplay can be fast and frantic, nail-biting. You can get the payload like here on the screen. You've got the payload right to the end and they're, they're holding it and we're just about to push it and people are dying and, you know, it, it's, it's so much fun. It's so chaotic and then just there, 
you, you finally get that victory and it's just so satisfying. The, the gameplay loop is so addictive, so satisfying, you can find games quickly. There is one caveat though, and that is that in order to play the ranked mode, the league mode, like I said, you need to reach rank uh, level 25, which is a bit of a jaunt, it is a bit of a grind. Well, I say grind, it's not really a grind because it's, the game's a ton of fun, but you have to get to level 25 before you can start doing any league play. But the game is very rewarding, very competitive, very challenging, and absolutely tons of fun and well worth your time. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know down in the comments what you think of Overwatch. Have you played it? Are you going to play it? Um, if you'd like to play along with me on the PlayStation 4 or the Nintendo Switch, uh, please let me know down in the comments and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll put down my Discord link and we can, uh, we can mash it up. Uh, please consider subscribing for more gaming content. I'll be doing giveaways very, very soon and always smash that like button. It helps out a ton. And yeah, until next time, thank you very much and take it easy.